See, the interesting thing about New York is when you mention New York to people, they think Manhattan. They think Manhattan. They think the city, but the city of Manhattan or even Brooklyn and the Bronx, it's such a tiny, minuscule part of New York. This is most of New York State. What's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we're Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Kitas. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Kitas, we do different things like recipe videos, and we do product reviews, and we talk about various keto topics. And every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. That's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. It's kind of weird holding a camera walking up Uphill. a hill. Like almost out of breath trying to hold the camera steady. Yeah, I mean it is hilly here at Joe's mom's house. So we are in the Catskill Mountains of New York visiting my mom. And it's been a fun trip. It, it really is, has. Uh, today's Wednesday. We actually decided to stay for one more day, right? I don't think you'll ever be sorry that you invested more time in your mom. Yeah, and that's the beauty about RVing. Because when you have an RV, you can kind of decide, you know what, I'm gonna leave a day later, I'm gonna stay an extra day, and it's been nice. My mom's house right now is under major renovations. Total and full construction. So I actually was glad that Joe was here to give her a little bit of peace of mind about like some of the projects, you know, and, and their timeline and, and doing stuff. He was able to talk to the contractor and ask all the questions that maybe somebody who doesn't do a lot of work on their house like Joe does would, would need to know the answer to. Yeah, and what it is is see this house here, I, it wasn't my house growing up, but I pretty much grew up in this house. So this was our summer vacation house. And it really, it's not a winter house. It wasn't designed for that. It was someplace where we came um, like during the summer for the weekends and then like for two or three weeks every summer. And we would sometimes come up during the winter, but we had no running water. I mean, we, we actually were like melting snow to have water to flush the toilet. It was because a roughing it place. It was a roughing it place because again, it wasn't designed for that. But my mom recently sold her house that I did grow up on and said, you know what? I want to move up here because she's got some property, but the house needed a lot of work. And uh, it's been an interesting trip because it's bringing back like all of these memories. Every single place, even like the wilderness part holds a memory for you, including just like camping away from the family and just, you know, kind of trying to, like as a little boy does, just have his own little independence. Right. Where mom could still see you from inside the house, but like you had your own tent. So when we got here, we actually found out because of all of the construction, my mom has been living since last July with a camp stove. Yeah. So the first thing we did was run out and buy them a Blackstone grill. We had no idea what was going on. And she is one of those people that's just like, I'm fine, yep. I'll make do. But like since last July. Yeah. So while we've been here, we've been doing all the cooking, which has been our pleasure. We've taught my sister and my mom how to use the Blackstone grill. And today on this video, we're gonna do a what we eat in a day while on vacation. So right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually head over to Swinging Bridge Lake in Monticello, which is another area that I pretty much grew up in where every weekend we would go over there and tent camp for the whole summer. That's what we did every weekend and then like two weeks out of the summer, we would tent camp and I'm looking forward to bringing our electric bicycles over there, kind of like riding around trying to maybe do a little bit of fishing. It's still kind of early in the season. Most people aren't coming up here because this is like a summer area of New York. And no matter where we are though, the first thing of the day, coffee. Coffee. Now the cool thing is, is uh, while we're over there, over on Swinging Bridge Lake, we're going to be filming the opening of the keto box, right? The, the chow club box, because there's something so cool in there. 
and we're gonna reveal what's in there later on in this video because we're really excited about it. And this video is gonna be coming out after the Chow Club opening, so it's gonna be okay. But if I tell you now, you won't watch till the end of the video. <laughs> <laughs> but what's really cool about it is, is my mom is 81 years old and when we got here, she was talking about how she's struggling to get protein in because she has been like Rachel her whole life, a super hard worker, uh, you know, hey, we got to rebuild our house. No let me problem. Let me pick up and do the stuff. Let me move those boulders by myself. Roll up those mom sleeves and just get it done. Yeah. And she said, like, I've lost my lean muscle mass and I need to get more protein and I don't know how to get the protein in. And we're like, funny, you should ask. Yeah. And so we were talking to her about our challenge with Bronson this month, and uh, we introduced her to Keto Chow. There are a lot of bugs here, if you yeah. can't tell. It's natty. And uh, we introduced her to Keto Chow, and she absolutely loves it. So what I'm really excited about is that we're actually going to be leaving her a bunch of Keto Chow, and it's going to be a great way for her to get some of her protein and her nutrients and things like that in at the age of 81, because she's looking at things like Ensure and, and all of those products out there that are loaded with sugar. Yeah, and she is an ingredient like a label reader mm -hmm. for sure. So she has not pulled the trigger on all of those like boost and ensure those type of things that are really, you know, advertised to seniors to right. try to get protein in because she's like, I just don't like all the other ingredients. So once she read the Keto Chow label and just started to familiarize herself with that, she was like, yeah, everything about this is great. Yep. And uh, she was drinking one this morning on the deck and she's like, okay, I am hooked on this because <laughs> wow, what a flavor variety. And we're Yep. like we know wait till she tries what's in the keto box and she's, she's gonna be really excited pretty pretty awesome so let's do this we're gonna head over to the lake and while we're doing that why don't you guys enjoy some aerial footage of the house that i grew up in and some of the footage on our way over to swinging bridge lake when you're only counting time to the car Collide out your window, going somewhere near. I see it through, and the hand of fate that I drew. Welcome to my childhood. This is a beautiful childhood you have here. So this is Swinging Bridge Lake. And uh, when I was a kid, we used to come to this area right here where we're standing. This was the free marina. And we launched our boat here. And we had an acre property on this lake. And, and you tent camped. And we tent camped on this lake. 
And this is how I grew up. Every single weekend, camping here on our little boat. Sometimes we would actually sleep on the boat. We had a small little cabin cruiser. Terry and I learned how to swim in this lake. I learned how to water ski in this lake. And uh, Terry's actually like considering going in the water. This is way too cold for us. For us Floridians. It, it's April 29th and there is no way I'm getting in that water. But it's it's really cool to come here and, and just bring back all the memories. I mean, I can literally visualize my dad driving us and me and my dad like just in our little John boat up and down the edges here trolling with the lure, catching fish, going after catfish and bass and it was a good time growing up. We just revealed what's in the Keto Chow Club box. It's our very first flavor of Keto Chow. Yes, so we we're, were super blessed to have collaborated with Keto Chow and developed a coffee flavor for them. Coffee house flavor. And it's called? Caramel Macchiato. So right now, this flavor is not available to purchase. Um, was only available if you um, went and got the May Chow Club box. When it is available for purchase, of course, we're going to let you guys know and you'll find out through one of our videos. We had a boat pass by, so we got lots of ways. What are your thoughts on this? This is such a huge deal. Mm -hmm. I think that it's really precious that we get to share this moment beside the lake that like your family spent so many summers here. Kind of, this is where you daydream. You yeah. daydream on your summer breaks and, and the family vacations. And when you were floating out in the lake thinking like, what am I gonna do with my life? You know, right. what, what's This gonna... wasn't what I was dreaming about. This wasn't, but it's- Of course the internet didn't exist back then. That's true. But like, you know, but you were dreaming that the Lord would use you in some big way to hopefully help people right. and I feel like God's answered that prayer and I'm I'm really really excited about what the future has in store and we do want to thank Chris and Miriam from Keto Chow and everybody over at Keto Chow for taking a risk on us taking a risk and giving us the opportunity to develop this flavor we hope you guys enjoy this flavor as much as we do because we love it <laughs> it is our it is our new favorite flavor I mean not just because we developed it but I think I think we really worked hard to come up with a great flavor. Definitely part of the process was we can't stop until we get a flavor I like better than chocolate toffee. Yeah. That and, was a tall order. And the one thing I will say about this, when we did the testing on this flavor, we tested it with butter because that's how we like it. Yes. But then even though we don't normally drink keto chow with heavy cream, we did a lot of testing with heavy cream because a lot of times heavy cream mutes the flavor. Yeah. And we wanted to make sure that whether you drink it with butter or you drink it with avocado oil or you drink it with heavy cream, You'd it was going to taste, taste yeah. delicious. And oh, by the way, it makes one heck of an ice cream. It's really good as a hot beverage. It's really good as a, you know, a traditional keto chow shake. But yeah, the ice cream is like next level. Are you going to try to catch something? I was going to say, I should say I'm going fishing, but really what I want to say is I'm going catching. I want to have like a real positive expectation of good things. Somebody what happened? We have so much line on this reel that it's just getting, it's too much. So taking some down and roosting it. Don't use your teeth. What are we doing? Mom wants some driftwood and I aim to please. So... Get this in the car. We've been challenged that there's no way we could lift this thing up and get it into the car. Challenge accepted. Okay. Got it? Yeah, if you actually have it in your arm. We finally figured out that we shouldn't make things harder than they need to be. So we're gonna have Joe back the truck down to load this thing up instead of trying to carry it all the way up the hill. So here we are carrying this 300 pound log from over there to, and we're gonna take him up to the car in the parking lot. Like we can back right down this ramp. We did it. <laughs> of course now we're like driving down the road with a giant stick sticking out of the back of the truck. Well, there's no, like there's a, there's, we put the K in crazy for a reason. We have enjoyed all of this beauty, but I want to eat. But we're fasting today. No, we're not though. We are. We aren't. I, I love your enthusiasm for it and you are totally welcome to fast as much as you want after you cook us some food. Great job. 
having my least favorite sound going on in a cycle. <laughs> what are you talking about? I cannot stand the key in the ignition sound. <laughs> Is that better? Yes. Can you please um, take my lid off and put it on correctly? Because I cannot get it to line up right. I thought you loved that thing. I do if you line it up for me. You're going to go all the way off, put it down in the, in the slot, in the hole, and then turn it and it locks. And now that's the red sign, which I believe is don't leak. <laughs> and then you just turn it a little bit. And now it's like if I pour it, it'll leak. But I think what happens is you turn it too far. I look forward to going through this entire process when I have another cup of coffee. Here you go. Is this place beautiful? We're actually at the Divine Mercy Waterfall here at Heaven's Embrace Chapel. And I gotta tell you, if you could go to any place to go to church, I feel like this would be the most beautiful chapel. a working chapel and it's also a retreat center. So for somebody who grew up and born and raised in Florida, what's it like to come to the Catskill Mountains in New York? Honestly, it is exactly how I pictured it from watching movies on TV. It's absolutely beautiful. There are so many breathtaking views. But I have to say I'm really glad that I've been working on some strength training and endurance because I think a lot of people 
you know, don't bother to work on stamina before a vacation. Right. And then, you know, you've been sedentary 360 days out of the year and you think that, well, on my five day vacation, I will have what it takes to enjoy everything. And you just don't. Yeah. So I'm glad that we've been working out on stair climbing and all that kind of stuff so that when we get to the waterfall, I can walk all the way up and enjoy it. See, the interesting thing about New York is when you mention New York to people, they think Manhattan. They think Manhattan. They think the city. But the city of Manhattan or even Brooklyn and the Bronx, it's such a tiny, minuscule part of New York. This is most of New York State. Okay, so people ask us what we eat when we go camping. And it's pretty much the same thing that we eat when we're at home. Let me show you. First of all, this, we love this refrigerator. This is actually a gas and electric refrigerator. So when we're plugged in, like right now, it runs on electric. But then when we're on the road, or if we're saying someplace that we don't have electric, it runs on propane. So it's a really cool idea. And just we have in our freezer right now, I'm, I'm getting one of my, my energy drinks cold. I drink these once in a while. But we got some Argentinian red shrimp. Just in case we decided we wanted a little treat. We haven't eaten it yet, but we've got a covered in light ice cream. We got those brand new Nola bars from Perfect Keto. These things were awesome on the trip. Just like as I was driving, I needed a little bit of energy, but we didn't want to have a full meal yet. I ate one of these things. These things are delicious. I actually have everything in one box. Of course, we have some butter. We have some sausage. Um, oh, these things. Oh, I have another set down in here because these things are amazing. We get these at Costco. And if you like meat sticks, these things, these are the Green Ridge Farms natural beef stick snacks. And each one of these is just 16 grams of, is, uh, 16 grams of protein, zero carbohydrates. It's got eight grams of fat, uh, 110 calories, which is actually a half a stick. And the ingredients in this are beef, water, and then 2% of sea salt, celery powder, vinegar, garlic, natural flavors in a sheep casing. So really, really clean ingredients. So we eat these a lot. Uh, we do have eggs from the girls at home. And uh, yesterday was Tuesday, right, Rachel? Of course, gotta have Buffalo Wild Wings if you can get to them. So uh, there's a Buffalo Wild Wings about 30 minutes away from my mom and she was getting a new stove, But and we have a pickup truck. and. The place wanted a ridiculous amount of money to like drop it off. So we said, we'll go pick it up. But the ulterior motive for picking it up was we were gonna treat mom and Terry to some Buffalo Wild Wings. So this is the leftovers. Uh, but then basically what we did is when we got here, we ran to Walmart or we were actually we ran to Sam's Club, right? And uh, we got some 90-10 ground beef and we've been cooking like ground beef and hamburgers. We've got some chicken breast. Uh, some of our homemade bacon that we brought up. They'd never tried it before. That was a proud mom moment when she got to taste your bacon. She yeah. loved it. These are incredible. We get these at Sam's Club. Remembers Mark, these are cheddar jalapeno sausages. Again, really clean ingredients. Not too spicy. Not really spicy, but super flavorful. And it's funny because uh, we started buying these. Rachel loves these things. I love those things. And uh, Anthony discovered them and we can't keep them in the house anymore. He comes home every night and eats two of them. Yeah. We also bought guacamole and I'm, I'm totally upset because we had ground beef last night and I completely spaced on it. I forgot we had it. Yeah, we got these, um, I want to say at Sam's Club again, but they're good till July. I like buying guacamole and avocado like this, as opposed to in the big containers, because the big container is very much like an avocado. As soon as you slice it open, it goes bad. Same thing with those big containers. So you pay a couple of bucks more for these individual containers, but number one, serving size, you're not gonna overdo it. And even if you have two, at least you know what you're having. But number two, again, good until July. But if this was one big cup, it would be good till tomorrow. Well, I eat visually too. So even though I know it's completely fine when the avocado goes brown and it's, but it's ugly and I just don't want to eat it when it's ugly like that. And then finally, we do have a bunch of cheese that we bought when we were in Lancaster. We stopped there on the way up and uh, we discovered Bucky's. Oh my gosh, you people in Texas. Lucky. You are so lucky. We bought so much beef jerky and sausage, and this is pretty much all that's left. 
Uh, we they had this duck sausage, this like dried duck sausage, really good. We plan on stopping at Bucky's on the way home and stockpiling because it's five hours away from our house. And then of course something that we always travel with just just in case, especially on the road, is we always have some ready-made keto chows. So we're a little dirty because we unloaded that log mm -hmm. and then had to carry it from like one side of the house to the other. But now we're gonna eat. And I'm really excited because then after that, I think we're gonna try to go for one more quick bike ride. And then we're also going to run to the store and make uh, and get some heavy cream and make mom some keto chow ice cream She's gonna with love our it. brand new caramel macchiato flavor. What do we got? We got condiments. Condiments? Yep. Okay. Got some jalapenos for Joe. Okay. We got some mushrooms from Amish country. Leftover Buffalo Wild Wings dressing. And we've got this new Taste of the South fried pickle and ranch dip. So that stuff is really good, but it is made with like not the greatest oils in the world, but like once in a blue moon. Then we found this fermented sauerkraut at the grocery store. Squeezable kraut. This one has mustard and this one is just classic. So this is the Blackstone that we bought from mom. And uh, here's what we got. We got some chicken breast which is uh, all done. And then she asked for some vegetables. So we got a little bit of our bacon. And then over here, this is some ground beef that we've mixed with a little bit of creamy tomato basil keto chow. And uh, yeah, kind of like a skillet chili kind of thing. Just, just the tomato uh, basil keto chow and uh, a little bit of Redmond Royal salt. Bacon is done. And now what we're gonna do we're going to take these vegetables, we're going to put a lid on it, and then we're going to squirt a little bit of water underneath. But i got to do this with one hand, so we're going to lift that up, we're going to squirt that, cover it up. So here we go. We're ready to make our plates. We also grilled some veggies for them. Everything is looking delicious, and now we just have to eat. So we got ground beef with tomato, basil, keto chow. Yep. We got some vegetables. We got some chicken, some of our bacon. Mom wanted some red onions, and then there's also a salad. So, uh, yeah, time to eat. You ready? Well, it's a rainy morning. It is. Yeah, we, we finished eating last night and uh, just decided to keep talking. We didn't want to pull out the camera. I was gonna pull out the camera and ask my mom like what she thought of our weight loss and stuff, but she was tired, it was a long day. She's 81 years old. And she's going through a complete house remodel. It's finally coming along, but it has been a major renovation and she has been a trooper because I mean, she again, has. since last July living like with just like toilets that you have to like go dump in the woods and you know, camp stoves. So I'm glad we were able to come up here and help a little bit and at minimum meet the contractor and make sure everything is now on pace. Like <laughs> we're watching you. So, so that was pretty much all we ate last night other than the fact that we did make my mom some keto chow ice cream. Yes, which she loved. She loved it. And so those of you who may wonder, does a Vitamix last? Her Vitamix is 26 years old and it's still made ice cream. Still kicking. So that's going to be the end of this full day of eating. Now, the next time we see you guys. We'll be in another state. We'll be back in Florida. So thank you for watching this. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, check out some of the other full day of eating videos that I'm going to link right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at the most recent video, which I'm going to put right over here. Whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.